Hello everyone, my name is Lindelwa. During this 21 days of fasting and prayer, today I would like to share with you, and the title of my message is Fight the Good Fight. And the scripture is taken from 1 Timothy 1 verse 18. It reads, This charge I commit to you, son, Timothy, according to the prophecies previously made concerning you, that by them you may wage the good warfare. Now, this is like a parent sitting in front of their child and wanting their full attention, all distractions away, the TVs off, the gadgets are placed away. And as a parent, you want your child to not to forget what you're about to tell them because it will affect their destiny. Paul urges Timothy that the prophecies you have received are now your responsibility. Because once a spoken word has been given to you, the enemy will challenge that word, be it a word for an individual, a word for a couple, for a family, or for a people, a church, or for a nation. The enemy will challenge that word. God sees the end from the beginning. And when that word is spoken, the circumstances around you are unlikely. But because God sees the end from the beginning, he releases that word and he says that use this word to fight the warfare that the enemy will bring. Just like Adam and Eve, when they're in the Garden of Eden, the Satan, the cunning um, snake, said to them, has God indeed said? And that is how the enemy comes. But you use this word because from God's part, he has already established it. It is already done. Because in Isaiah 55 verse 11, it says, So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing which I sent it for. Like Mary, when angel Gabriel approached her, she was not married yet. She was still a virgin. And Gabriel said, you shall bear a child. And she said, how shall this be? Because I am, I don't, I do not know a man. And this is when now she had to activate her faith based on the word that was spoken to her. And this faith had to be active. And active faith means you don't just have faith for today, for the next two weeks, and then you just forget about the prophecy. And then you're like, oh yeah, God once said to me, God once said to this nation, God once said to my family, but you've just like, oh, I've forgotten about it. And let me just move on. But the spoken word of God requires you to be actively involved. Have faith, have an active expectation of that word. Fight the good fight with that word until it comes to pass because it's what you do with that word that has been spoken that will determine the outcome thank you everyone i just hope that this word has blessed you have a good day